Hey guys, so today is uh, June 19th and cloudy, overcast. It was raining this morning and a lot of people on the beach. But this is really nothing yet. Give it a couple more weeks and this uh, place will be uh, loaded with people. As you can see right now there are a lot of seaweeds, dirt on the beach but probably by next week the town is going to clean this up like they, like they always do and they'll stop putting up the uh, lifeguards uh, stands. At uh, which time we will not be able to fish from uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So, this might be the uh, last time I can fish during the day. Unless it's uh, raining out. So, there's a good chance that most of my videos that will be coming out will be done either early morning before 9 or in the afternoon or evening after 5 but that's okay because in between that time I'm probably going to be at work anyway so no big deal so we're still looking for that first fish for 2023 so I'm really hoping that today will be the day but we'll see Guys, you can't see it on the surface, but holy cow, there are a lot of seaweeds out there. That's pretty much all I'm getting right now, seaweeds. Big clump, clump of seaweed right there. But we're not ready to quit just yet. We'll keep going. We'll just have to keep cleaning it every now and then. my fault <laughs> there you go guys so they just caught one down there and I noticed that they're actually using worms for bait I have to admit you know you can't really go wrong when you use worms
Try it best. Guys, as I was saying, that the couple right down there that cut the striper, they are using worms, and I'm still using macro. Generally, I don't use worms except for uh, early spring or late fall. Uh, that's really the only time most of the time only when I'm desperate you know and I can't catch and I'm not having much luck with uh, mackerel when I mean, chunk mackerel or clams then I go with the with the worms uh, the only thing with the worms I think I mentioned it in one of my videos earlier is that uh, most, of the, most of the fish that you do catch with worms are the small ones or what is better known as Coolies. Uh, so usually that's why I usually go with the bigger bait than worms now having said that I'm not saying that you can't catch big fish with the worms because you can and I have many times but uh, I usually stick to uh, mackerel mackerel seem to be my favorite uh, bait for stripers but every once in a while, I, I do use clams and like I said, sea worms also. Uh, in fact, right now I do have a container of clams at home that I will be using. I didn't bring it with me today because I wasn't planning on, or I'm not planning on staying that long. So, and that's, that's the reason why I only brought one mackerel with me. But yeah, so if you're not having much luck with chunk mackerel or clams, go with the worms. And more often than not, you will catch something. So, oh, another time that I do use worms is when I'm taking somebody out for the first time to fish. Because like I said, you have a better chance of catching something with worms than uh, clams or chunk mackerel. If I were to go, you know, to take somebody out for the first time, I want to make sure that they have the best chance or best shot at catching something. So I definitely go with the worms. I mean, for a first timer, it really doesn't matter, you know, how big the fish is, as long as, as, long as they catch something. So. But anyways, so far I've been here about a half hour, and that's the only fish I've seen caught so far. So hopefully with the tide coming in, we got about another half hour before a full tide. Hopefully they'll start hitting. 